Clappers hand. Give it up for Valerie. Hey, everybody. So, uh, I grew up as a Jehovah's Witness. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I've seen all of you before. <laughs> You're just now remembering those hungover Saturday mornings. I'm sorry. Um, so, I grew up as a Jehovah's Witness, and... When I was 19, I married a guy, because we're only supposed to marry each other and no sex before marriage. So I married this guy who didn't fuck me for seven years. I know, I know. And then when I finally divorced him, it came out all over the local news that he had been molesting his high school students. I know. It was super embarrassing, but it was kind of a relief because it was like, oh, there's nothing wrong with me. I just aged out of the system. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I should have I married him when I met him in middle school as my substitute teacher. <laughs> Towards the end of our marriage, uh, I got like a free ticket to an atheist convention uh, where I met former Texas Senator Sean Faircloth. We hit it off, he tried to fuck me, but I was a good little Jehovah's Witness girl trying to stay faithful to this child molester, you know? <laughs> so I didn't go through with it, but if it were now, I would have totally done it. I would have, that shit is leverage, you know? Like, oh, you got a wife, Senator? Well, I got bills. <laughs> you got a vote coming up? I got a lot of friends who need abortions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we all know that they're trying to ban abortion, right? Yeah. And, and I know some people think it is just another attack from the right on underprivileged women, but I think it's actually a gift, right? Because with the recent shortage of baby food formula, <laughs> that titty milk's worth a fortune on the black market, you know what I mean? <laughs> And you dry up, just sell a kidney. Dialysis is still free in the US. Thank you, Richard Nixon. <laughs> uh, I just moved here from DC and Baltimore. So it's been fun being in New York. Are you guys excited for Trump 2024? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, th I think if Trump wins, we should just replace Melania with Ivanka, you know? <laughs> You know, that way we'll at least know that the president and the first lady are fucking. <laughs> I think it's really important to have love in the White House, you know what I mean? <laughs> you don't have an insurrection if you're having incest erection. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, speaking of uh, rape, <laughs> Do you, do you guys believe in aliens? <laughs> yeah? I like to ask that question everywhere I go. Like at the VFW outside of the Pentagon, I was like, oh, do you guys believe in aliens? And they're like, yeah, like, why do you think we're drinking? <laughs> I think if you don't believe in aliens, then you don't believe in rape. If you don't believe in aliens, you don't believe in rape because there's a lot more eyewitnesses for aliens than there are for rape. So, we take an eyewitness testimony here? <laughs> What's going on? Um, but that is consensual sex, right? <laughs> no, it's not, it's rape. <laughs> but uh, when I... When I uh, ventured out from the uh, world of sexless marriage into dating, had a lot of interesting experiences, right? I had to test things out. So I, I dated a uh, Jewish mathematician who had Crohn's disease. And he would emit this like poop-like odor. <laughs> and then I dated a Filipino fishmonger, and he would come home from work and he would just reek. And then it finally hit me like, oh my God, Valerie, this whole time, I just have terrible smelling men. <laughs> <laughs> That's stupid. 
But uh, uh, my last serious relationship uh, was another comedian. You know, it's good advice for anybody here interested in comedy, date other comedians. But we, <laughs> we moved in together and we were sitting on the couch. I opened up his laptop just to see the time on the lock screen. But it didn't open to a lock screen, it opened to a full screen of naked images. And I was like, oh, excuse me, who are these women? And he was like, oh, they're just old cam girl crushes. You don't understand. It's a Chromebook. <laughs> you, you can't delete files off of a Chromebook. <laughs> and I was like, either one, you're a fucking liar. <laughs> or two, you are really bad at computers. <laughs> And I think, honestly, I was more worried about the second one because <laughs> what's gonna happen when autonomous vehicles become the norm, you know? He's gonna be like, oh, I'm sorry, you can't delete ride history, it just took me to the cam girl's house. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I got so curious, I know it was wrong, but he fell asleep and I had to know who they were. So I opened up his computer again, and for the first time ever, it was password protected. <laughs> and I was like, well, shit, maybe we do have a future. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it for me. I see the light. I'm Valerie Apperson. Thank you so much.